Awesome news everyone, Wisecam V2 and Wisecam Pan now officially work with Alexa. You can see live stream video on any Alexa device that has a screen. This includes your Echo Show, Echo Spot, Fire Tablets, and Fire TV. Because of a hardware limitation, the original Wisecam does not work with Alexa. I know that's a disappointment for some folks, we're, we're really sorry about that, but that was one of the major reasons why we made V2. We had to make a hardware upgrade in order for V2 and Pan to work with Alexa. So, to check whether you have an original Wisecam or a V2, look at the sticker on the bottom of the camera. A V2 will say V2 right there. So, here's how to connect your Wisecam to an Amazon device. Step one is to make sure you have one or more cameras set up in your Wise account using the Wise app. Hopefully you're already familiar with setting up and using Wisecam with your phone. Alexa works with all Wisecam V2 and Wisecam Pan cameras that are connected to your Wise account including cameras that other users share with you. So get into your WISE account and just double check that your cameras are on, make sure you've got a good connection, and to make things easier for Alexa, do a quick review of your camera names and make sure they're all simple, easy to pronounce, and unique. So I have Backyard, Office, Crib, Studio, and Front Porch. You can tap the name of any camera to change it, and then just hit OK. Step two is to update the firmware on each of your Wise cams by tapping into each camera's live stream in the Wise app. It should automatically prompt you to update the firmware, but if you accidentally hit cancel, hit the settings gear icon, hit device info, check update, and upgrade. Step three, you'll need to enable the Wise skill. You can do this through the Alexa app, through the Alexa website, alexa.amazon.com, or you can say, Alexa, enable Wise skill. We're gonna do it through the Alexa app. So jump into your Alexa app, go to the menu, and select Skills and Games. Search for the Wise skill, select the skill, and then hit Enable Skill. You'll be prompted to enter your Wise username and password to authorize Alexa to access your cameras. Once you've done that, select Discover Devices so that Alexa can find your cameras. You can also just say, Alexa, discover my devices. I found five new devices. Now your cameras are set up with Alexa using the same name you gave them in the Wise app. You'll probably want the names to be the same in the Wise app and the Alexa app, but they don't have to be the same. If you want to call your camera by a different name when using voice commands, you can modify the camera name in the Alexa app. So just tap the camera name, hit edit name, and then hit done. And that change will not be updated in the Wise app. Now let's start using voice commands. If I want to see my backyard, I can say, Alexa, show me the backyard. Okay. And there is my backyard. Let's try another one. Alexa, show me the office. Okay. And there's the office. So you can say, show my, show the, show me, or just show. You'll notice it takes a few extra seconds to connect to the camera. There's a little server delay when we send the feed over to Amazon. And that live stream will stay visible for 10 minutes before it stops automatically. So if you need the stream open longer than that, you'll need to restart the live stream by repeating the voice command. You can stop the live stream by saying, Alexa, go home. And it exits the live stream. You can also say, Alexa, stop. So that's pretty much it. Right now, Alexa can be used to view and listen to the live stream. Alexa devices don't support two-way audio, alert videos, or the pan tilt functionalities of Wisecam Pan. We're so excited that Wisecams now work on Alexa. We hope this makes it even easier to keep an eye on all the things you care about. We'll see you next time.